Welcome to Audible Stories. The Impatient Greed. Long ago the god who was known as a creator, as the people called him, was creating the world. After he had made the mountains, the seas, the valleys, the oceans and all the other places on earth, he decided to make the animals and the birds. One by one he created them, giving them the gifts they would ask from him. Rabbit said, God please give me long legs, and long ears like deers. And give me the sharp fangs like panther has, and give me claws like eagles. Rabbit admired all those animals, and he wished and hoped to run fast, to be able to defend himself against anyone. I will surely do that, said God, because he did want to give the animals and birds all they wished and wanted to have. So he set to work on rabbit's legs, beginning with the hind ones, stretching them and shaping them, making them long just the way rabbit had asked for. All the other animals sat nearby, but no one dared to watch God's work. They knew that his magic was secret, and most of them were preening and prancing about, admiring their new feathers, necks and claws, fangs and legs, ears and eyes. Owl sat nearby too, but he was yet unformed. He was nervously awaiting his turn, but he had grown impatient. When he saw the others with all their special features, he could not wait for his own gifts. And so Owl began, Woo, 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 he called, Please make me beautiful, O oh God. I want a long, curving neck just like swans. Owl paused, looked around at all the other animals with envy. He couldn't help himself from asking for more and give me bright red feathers like cardinal's feathers, he called as cardinal flew past. And I want a long beak like egret's beak, and I want a crown of plumes like those on heron's head. And I want to fly as fast as eagle, and I want to be as delicate as a hummingbird, and I want a strong fangs like panthers. The god finally lost his patience. Quiet, quiet, he said to Owl. Turn around and close your eyes. You're not permitted to watch me work, and you must stop envying the others. Your turn will come. Now be quiet and let me work. The god turned back to finish his work on Rabbit. But now Owl grew more impotently greedy and couldn't stop talking and wanting. Woo! Woo, he called again. Please don't ask me to close my eyes. I love to watch you. I love to look at your work. I surely do admire your creations, but I want to watch rabbit's legs grow long. And I want those red feathers that Cardinal has. Don't forget that I want ears like rabbits too, and huh. Owl went on and on with his hoot. At last God could no longer bear the sound of Owl's hooting. He turned around from Rabbit and grabbed Owl from his perch in a tree. For your greed and impatience, you will be punished, God said, and. He shook Owl until his eyes widened and grew round, and pushed his ears into his head, and then pushed his head deep into his body. Then God shouted, There you are, now perhaps you have learned your lesson. He put Owl on a branch and tossed mud all over his feathers. Woo! Woo! Owl wept. How will I see? How will I see? Oh yes! You will very well see, and you will surely hear it loud, God said. You wanted to know everything. And now you have ears that will hear everything, and you have eyes that will never close, so you will always see everything.
Because you would not be patient and respectful and wait for your turn, you have been taught a lesson. You will be awake only at night and you will never be seen in daylight. And your feathers will never be red. They will always be the color of mud. Perhaps you will learn, from now on, to be wise and respectful instead of getting impotently greedy and envious of those around you. Then God turned to finish Rabbit, but Rabbit had now been so terrified and horrified by God's anger and fury, that he just run away hopping with his forelimb undone into the woods. That is why Rabbit's hind limbs are long but his four limbs are short, and that is why he is so shy, timid and soft. He does not have the claws and fangs which he wanted to defend himself against others. As for Owl, he did learn his lesson. He remained in the shape God had made him, and he is awake only at night, just as God had planned. But people say, now he is more wise, patience full and respectful bird, so perhaps, after all, he did learn a lesson for his impatient greed. If you like the story, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for listening.